My name is Todd Miller. I'm the director of Dinosaur 13. We started a long time ago naming dinosaurs. The name Sue for Susan Hendrickson goes down in history. We were riding on top of the world. We had everything going for us. Less than a week after that, all hell broke loose. We were met by two FBI agents with a search warrant to take Sue and all records belonging to Sue. But they took everything. They went through all of our offices, all of our desks. Unconscionable. I can't imagine somebody being able to do this. Here in the United States of America, in a free country. You know, it was just one of those uh, novels when you're reading it, the, the words and the sentences just jump off the page. It was told um, in a very visual uh, style. So, you know, seeing things like, you know, we were out in the Badlands and there's fog on the prairie, which never happened before to a filmmaker, you're just going, I can't wait to get out there and shoot fog on the prairie and see a tent flapping in the wind. And, um, and then when they start talking about, you know, discovering a, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, you know, on a cliff face, you know, it just, uh, uh, just to be able to, you know, originally we were going to recreate a lot of that stuff. So um, uh, that's, that really gripped me. And as, and as you go through that 10 year saga um, and the years start piling up, you just get riveted by the story. Hollywood had been banging down their door for years. And we said kind of the opposite. We said, you know, we want to make it as a first person narrative documentary uh, drama was what we were going to do. We want to get everybody uh, that was involved in that 10 year saga on camera, get their interviews. And then we were going to go back and we were going to hire actors, reenact everything um, and do it more in kind of an artistic way um, and then uh, about a year into the project a bunch of people at the Institute started handing over footage that they had I mean there were scientists legitimate scientists that you know documented uh, not only the discovery uh, the court cases that ended up happening the criminal trial uh, the aftermath of all that so it was really a no-brainer I like being able to uh, approach a project without a script to have it just play out and unfold as uh, as it's developing. Um, it's, it's all the little things, whether you're in an edit suite by yourself, you know, at 3 a.m. and all of a sudden you make that one edit and you're like, wow, that, that's awesome, you know, and it just shifts the entire scene or an entire direction of a film. You really don't get that with uh, fiction. I think it's so, it's, it's great because it's in a, a real intimate uh, setting, you know, and it's nice to, you know, uh, to screen for myself personally to go and watch you know other people's work that I've admired for so long um, and the audience has uh, immediate participation I mean the fact you know obviously with the audience award but also um, the questions that we've been asked during screenings we haven't gotten anywhere else um, and it's just uh, it's just a really great place we really are so thankful that we're here